Today, our topic is Linear Algebra 101, 1.5, from vectors to tensors. Upon hearing the word tensor, many people got their tension up. Don't worry, we are talk we're going to talk about it and to help each other. What is a vector and its extension to matrices and tensors? Extension and generalization. Please know that this presentation is a fast track approach that carries advanced and very abstract concepts to some students. Your mileage may vary. So bear with me with my fast pace. The Arabic number symbols 1, 2, 3 are called scalars as they scale some vectors, matrices, and other calculable objects. Maybe it represent one apple, two apples, three apples, etc. A vector may present a point in 2D space, such as 1, 2 geometrically in the Cartesian coordinate systems like 1, 2, or they can be represented as a row vector from left to right, or a column vector or vector from top down. A row vector is also named covector or linear functional by various authors or presenters. A vector has a magnitude or length and direction. Some call it a directed line segment or a limited ray. During this presentation, we will just use row vectors to discuss the related topics as it is easier to represent on the screen unless otherwise specified. A vector again has a magnitude or length or direction. For example, the vector 3, 4 has a length of 5 and pointed to the direction of right 3 and up 4 on the plane. We may multiply two scalars or integers together, for example. So we may also multiply two vectors and for another object. However, we encounter some difficulty for the idea at this point. But why? You may ask, why? Why are we encounter some difficulty? Why? Why? Well, if we put the row vector A, B, one vector, and then C and D, another vector, together, how do you pre uh, multiply them together? Is it the answer A, B, C, D, or A, B plus C, D, or whatever? It is easier to approach this issue at hand from algebraic perspectives. How many ways can you multiply those two vectors? First of all, there are two different kinds of vectors for 2D space, to say the least, row and column vectors. How can we put that together and multiply them together, yet the production, the definition of product is still well defined? Traditionally, Mathematicians define the following two products for of two vectors on 2D space. Inner product or dot product, scalar product, and outer product or tensor product. No worry, we are going to give you some ideas right here. For example, the inner product of two vectors, AB times column product, column vectors XY equals C where C equals AX plus BY. Example here, 3, 4 times 3, 4 vectors. Inner product equals 25, which equals the square of the length of the vector 3, 4. Outer product of two pro uh, vectors, our example is XY column vectors, tensor product AB equals XA, XB, second row of the matrix, matrix YA, YB, that's the outer product of two vectors, or we can call it tensor product. Now, 
the two tensor product together of one zero one zero returns a projection matrix one zero one zero as you can see on the screen right now so and we can also do other vector product of two vectors to become other vectors here we give you the idea of matrix multiplication a b c d times e f g h becomes a e plus b g etc this is an extension of the inner product of two vectors take a look at this the first row on the right hand side or first card or first entry on the right hand side equals the first row times the right column the first column or second matrix in a nicer form of matrix multiplication we have aij represented one matrix bjk represented the right hand side matrix the answer is cjk a cik i'm sorry so mathematics is the study of symmetry and invariance no matter how we change the left hand side the right hand side seems to be invariant Eureka from vectors to tensors this is your lucky day how could one map the following equation ax plus by equals 3 equals c equals c to a algebraic vector equation as you saw before above the process of moving from linear equations to vector matrix forms is a natural line like object transformation are you with me or without me go free Thank you very much.